Yo, what is up guys, Connor here, and thought I would make pretty much a remake of the, uh, the Wicked Hood, um, like where to get it, and uh, all that good stuff. Now, I've gotten, I think, two to three comments on this saying, hey, I can't find it, uh, uh, where am I supposed to go to get this? So, um, they actually moved him. He used to be in the center of Varrock, and now he is uh, in Berthropy, or whatever, Berthrop, I know how to pronounce it now. So I'm going to show you where to find him. Uh, let me open up this world map here. <laughs> now, it's... I don't really see why they would move him. Um, because it's really a stupid update, but... Let me add the UR here thing. Okay, so when you teleport to uh, Birth Rope, um, you will with the game's necklace that is uh, which I recommend doing or running all the way from Falador when you get there run like this through this path must be a member to have this by the way run up here and you'll be right here so I'm gonna show you where to go and get this so with the game's necklace what you're going to want to do is rub it and go to for throat patrol and it. Now with that you'll be teleported just southeast or uh, northwest, sorry, of the actual place itself. So you're gonna want to run southeast and you don't have to complete a tutorial to get the Wicked Hood itself. And then run north after you've run southeast. Uh, you can run east straight, but you'll end up running into this building or around over there, so I don't know, I just kind of find it easier to do this. Now, this is also another loyalty shop. This is a another room crafting place, uh, which I can show you. So, let's go to trade. And as you can see here, you can take it all, whatever, you know, it's free. Um, you don't really want the mind talisman, but since you are here, what you're going to want to do is talk to Tama. McGarber, McGruber, hello, thanks for stopping, um, and one of these, can I get another hood, or can I get a wicked hood, I'll hand it to you, and that'll simply be it, now I don't have the wicked hood with me, but um, I'll show you how it works in just a second, so let me pause the video, and I'll show you, okay, I'm back, and um, let me grab the wicked hood, now I've already used my wicked hood for the day, um, and this is my runecraft thing tab, I actually do need to pretty much tweak this so it's a little bit better um, and I actually do want to show you guys a little something something um, or I might as well just tell you it so with one of the new recent Jagex updates when you teleport to Lunar Island as I'll show you now because I craft astrals a lot and nature runes uh, so when you teleport home they made it that or so dot 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 you no longer need a seal of passage to access the banks now I learned about this when the update first came out and I didn't really trust it I didn't think that no it wouldn't work maybe you needed another item or something from a quest um, but no as you can see I'm left clicking I can right click bank right click collect like that so you no longer need the seal of passage. Um, what? My own dad? That's pretty cool. Okay, um... So, um... Time to show you how the Wicked Hood works. Now, if you have a high runecrafting level, um, such as I do, well, it's not really high, but me medium, or it, mine's pretty much above average, that's what he said, um, is you'll have about this setup going. Now, to actually fill in these slots, such as the mind, air, body, fire, and all that good stuff, which I actually do think these two already filled in uh, for you, um, but you're going to have to buy the talismans and feed it to the Wicked Hood. Now, I do want to tell you this, that if you do actually um, put the talismans in the Wicked Hood itself, you cannot take them back out, so say hey I want to put a chaos room or a chaos talisman in there and I put it in you won't be able to get it back out 
and also if you were to say you want to get the Omni Talisman um, from the Runecrafting Guild, what you cannot do is use the Wicked Hood on the person um, to get that. So what I recommend doing is if you are 50 Runecrafting or above going for the Wicked Hood, I recommend buying all the talismans, showing everyone at the or showing the chick at the Runecrafting Guild first, and then I recommend um, putting them in your hood simply because the lady at the Runecrafting Guild does not take them. Um, she simply just looks at them and then she's done. Now I want to show you guys a few updates of actually like my stuff itself. Um, I have 55 room crafting and I do have the Omni Talisman itself um, along with the Elemental. These are the two big ones that you'll need. Um, I think if you put the Elemental in there it actually fills in all of these itself like all of these um, and the Omni just fills in every single one but um, in order to get the Omni you have to have all the talismans which it's kind of pointless you know just yeah so um, so what did I want to show you I wanted to show you something oh yeah I reorganized my bank so here's like my normal tab you got the charms you got the runes you got the other stuff um, Slayer tab has been greatly updated um, I do actually want to show you guys something something pretty cool uh, my bank has increased quite a bit in the past couple of days simply because the new dragon armor update is going to be coming out within the next two to three weeks and um, the need for dragon has I guess increased quite a bit um, so I bought this when it was at like 7 mil I made 3 mil off of it and the DFS has also gone up in price and I made and I bought this when it was around 4 millish um, and it is now around 8 mil so that was a great price increase but when I put all this stuff in there bang wait hold on it's not really a bang yet uh, where'd I put it? okay there we go I think that should be enough maybe that too okay and the item skipped on death thing is I'm over 20 mil uh, so that's really really good news I could sell all this stuff if I wanted to um, get some D claws get a SGS you know whatever um, but I'm not going to I'm gonna keep it but I did think that that was really really cool and um, and I simply got the money pretty much I spent what was it 14 mil on all that armor and uh, made 6 mil off of it so that's pretty cool um, Another little update thing is that the runners are almost done. Um, I actually think I can do a full run right now, um, get all my herbs and stuff like that. But three runner seeds left, 48 clean runners. Um, I did clean them for their herb lore level, uh, or for the XP, and um, yeah. So I'm not going to show you the run, uh, but I will put out a video later today, if not tomorrow of me showing you how much profit I made off of just 15 or like 10 seeds, wait no, how many was it? Ah uh, yeah, 15 seeds. Um, <coughs> spent 180k, so I made quite a bit of money so far. Um, I'm not going to show you how much, but if you do want to go and check, uh, I'm also going to include the marigolds in there, the orange seeds, the willow seeds, uh, wait no, I'm not going to include those. Um, and the the stir pots that I made myself. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, subscribe, like, whatever. You know, I don't really like to push that stuff anymore. Um, but as always, have a nice day.